the smallest field of the week, I think the lowest grade race of the week as well, is the Stu Gray selling hurdle. Certainly the lowest grade hurdle. And also we're running it at night. <laughs> two, two and a quarter miles north to 90. Bathwick Quest for Martin Cairns and two for Matt Cooper. Latanza Pioneer and Vissy Street. So it's either going to be a second winner of the season for Matt Cairns or a first winner of the season for Matt Cooper. And you would say Matt Cooper's got twice as much chance as Martin Cairns because he's got two runners in it. They're away and racing. So we don't get too many fallers. We shouldn't do it. It's a hurdle race. They all get over the first. And Bathwick Quest is the leader. I'm guessing I've got an audience of two for this as they get over the second. But, uh, Martin Cairns, Bathwick Quest is in the lead. Uh, nice to see you back, Martin. We had a good winner last week. And hopefully you get some more. Skip over to third, and Matt Cooper, I think he said on the forums this week, he's going to try and break the world record for most fifth places. I think that's possibly, mostly on, mostly on the flat, but he's uh, already picked up a few over the jumps as well. He probably has been placed more than anybody in the season so far. I don't get getting that winner, so maybe today will be the day. I think he's got two runners in a three runner race later as well uh, certainly giving it the best shot but it's Bathwick Quest who is currently the leader on Vissy Street and Latanza Pioneer as they get over the fourth over the fifth we go and they're racing the Indian file with Bathwick Quest in the lead Vissy Street in second Latanza Pioneer He's back in third. Not quite sure why we're running the race at night. It makes it quite atmospheric, doesn't it? Maybe it's not not, maybe it's just really dark. But anyway, it's Latanza Pioneer at the back. Missy Street in the middle and Bathwick Quest in the lead. I thought I'd do the commentary backwards there just to make it interesting. Bathwick Quest and Martin Cairns is a good three or four lengths in the lead. Vissy Street in second, Latanza Pioneer in third. Well done to all the YouTube trainers if you are still listening to this and haven't fast forwarded to the end of the race. And it's Bathwick Quest who is going to get to flight six and get over it in front. A stake by both of Mark Cooper's horses, Vissy Street and Latanza Pioneer at the same flight. As they head down to the next. We'll drop that one okay though. Bathwick Quest in the lead. Vissy Street getting a bit closer. Oh, Latanza Pioneer just the back marker as they get over flight number eight. Just three more to take then. In this Stu Grey hurdle. Stu can be back with us before too long. Bathwick Quest in the lead. Vichy Street second. The Tanza Pioneer back in third. Now Vichy Street just being shook up to go and challenge Bathwick Quest. So he might get a race on it for the last three and a half furlongs. As they come down to the third last, it's Bathwick Quest in the lead. Vissy Street looks to be going the better at the moment. As they take the third from home and Vissy Street just landed in the lead there. And he's now starting to pull away as they take the second last. Jump that really well. Bathwick Quest jumped in one as well. They were switched to the outside. But Vissy Street starts to pull away again on the hill. And they race towards the final flight. And it looks like Vissy Street's only got to pop over this. Which she does. Bathwick Quest is over in second. And this is going to be the first winner of the season for Matt Cooper. And well deserved as well because he's had quite a few goes. And he's finally got himself a winner. Matt Cooper gets a winner. Vichy Street wins it. Bathwick Quest is second. And the Tanza Pioneer is third. So Vichy Street takes the Stu Grey hurdle. The moonlit skies for Matt Cooper. Bathwick Quest second. 
for Martin Keynes and Latanza Pioneer for the winning trainer, Matt Cooper, was third.